Hey guys, we're going to be going out putting up a bat house and I thought it would be a good time to show you this idea that I have in using PVC to create a bat house pole which should get us 16 to 17 feet in the air. You can buy everything at a local home improvement store. Uh, it should fit in a standard pickup truck. It comes in 10 foot lengths. And I intentionally tried to do everything that way so I'm not going to someplace special like I know I can go to an electrical supply house and buy 20 foot links. Uh, I, I wanted to get something that I was fairly confident that you guys could find locally and put together. Now the problem with PVC is flexibility with the standard plumbing uh, PVC uh, when you get to the smaller pipes and you know over time on the sun we're, we're just going to have to see how it reacts and how it works. But with this idea, what I have to keep the size of the pipe a little smaller is the base pipe, and you'll understand how this goes together as, as we install the bat house, uh, is a three inch schedule 40 PVC. This is three inch drain pipe. And then if you go over to the electrical section, you can find two and a half inch schedule 80 and it's important that you get schedule 80. You can see that the walls on this are much thicker and schedule 80 pipe is much much stiffer. This two and a half inch schedule 80 actually has more stiffness to it than this three inch. I can flex this three inch and fill it. This one takes a lot of pressure to flex it and the reason for the three inch is it's going to be uh, essentially buried first, about two and a half, three feet in the ground. Then a section of the gray two and a half inch pipe will actually slide inside and we're going to do a good glue bond for the top piece to go on to the piece that slides inside the three inch pipe. And that will overall give us 16 to 17 feet out of the ground when we put this together. Now, like I said, we got three inch schedule 40 from plumbing two, two and a half inch schedule 80 out of electrical. We have some quality PVC cement and I would recommend that you get the PVC cement for gray PVC because that's what we're going to be bonding. For the bat house mounting I picked up four uh, carriage bolts. Three of them are four inches long one of them's four and a half inches long and these are quarter inch carriage bolts. I picked up quarter inch nylon lock nuts. And these came in packages of two. Uh, the nylon lock nut has a nylon bushing or ring inside of it so that when we tighten it down it will hold on to the bolt and not just work its way off. It won't come loose and it doesn't work like a lock washer in that it'll it will stay loose and stay on the pole. We don't have to compress it. And on the PVC, we don't want to add any compression to the bolt. We just want to snug it down and that's what these will do. Of course, we have four quarter inch washers that we'll use. And for a decorative top on the pole, I wanted to not just leave it open. I don't want water going in it. and it, It'll just look unfinished, basically. You can't get at least not at the home improvement stores, two and a half inch PVC fittings other than an elbow. In electrical work, it wouldn't make sense to have a cap or reducers, none of that. So what I had to do was kind of just engineer something. And here's what I came up with. Uh, first, we have a two to one and a half inch pipe increaser. This was about a buck. And I discovered that the one and a half inch side it's a little bit loose, but it will fit right in the two and a half inch pipe here. With a good amount of glue and pushing that in, it should dry and it will stay fine. The two to one and a half inch bushing, uh, you'll have to go look for this. This was, I think, 80 or 90 cents. But I wanted the bushing. You can also use just a short section of one and a half inch uh, or excuse me, two inch pipe, for example. What we need to do is to join this cap onto here and we need a piece of two inch pipe. But I didn't want to buy uh, a two foot section of pipe or have you buy a two foot section of pipe to cut off three inches of it. But if you'll go look, this bushing is there. 
and the bushing will fit here. When you glue it, just leave some of it sticking out, and then you'll take the cap here, glue it, force it on, and that'll be good enough. It's not going to be holding pressure, it's purely decorative. And then of course this is just a two and a half, or excuse me, a two inch pipe. I'll get this right in a minute. Uh, this is just a two inch pipe cap that we have here. So in the end, this will be glued here. We'll have the bushing glued, and then this will be glued on top and that will be what the top of the pipe looks like. You don't have to do this, but it just makes it look more finished and it'll look nice from the ground 17 feet up. And then we're not gonna leave it uh, out in the open, uh, just PVC colored. I picked up some brown plastic compatible, PVC compatible paint that we're gonna paint all this with. And ultimately what'll be painted of course is the three inch piece, one of these, because remember one's going to be sliding inside in the cap assembly that'll be on it. What we'll do is we'll pre-paint this and let it dry before we actually take it over and assemble it. And we're going to assemble it on site. And then we'll just touch up the paint once we get ready and we'll put it in the ground and we'll be good to go. So that's what we're going to be doing. These are the materials. There will be a material list inside the description for this video so that you'll know what to go get uh, and what you need to do to put it together uh, as you watch the video will be obvious. So at this point, I think we'll go ahead and we'll get the painting on it done, let it dry, and then we'll head over where we're gonna be and dig the hole and mount the bat house on it and put it up. So let's get started. Okay, before we paint, get you a piece of 120 or 150 grit sandpaper, some medium grit sandpaper. And all we wanna do is rub the pipe completely to make sure that there is nothing on it and to give us good paint bonding. And once it's sanded, we're going to use a rag with uh, some type of a window cleaner, uh, something that's non-residue, uh, even alcohol would work. All you want to do is just wipe it down once you're done sanding and then we'll put the paint on. The sandpaper as you're using it will tend to load up with PVC. Just take it hit it, knock the PVC out of it. You can use this one piece, did everything. We also sanded our top components here. And when you sand the bushing, just sand it, make sure that you get it because it's got a little bit of excess from the machining here. Just sand it a little bit and make sure that it slides into the cap like it should. And uh, we're ready to put the top knot on and uh, paint it. Well, we glued the, what I'm gonna call a top knot. We glued that together. Uh, just take your time with it, use a lot of glue, be careful with it. And then putting it in here, I used a, a lot of glue because this is a little bit small, pushed it in and gave it about 10 minutes to dry and before I moved on, but it's ready to paint now. So we're going to, we've wiped it down with a little bit of window cleaner and we've got uh, some satin uh, this is just brown. You can use pretty much any color. I wouldn't go with black. Um, brown, probably, this may be a little dark. Uh, but I definitely wouldn't go with black because it'll absorb a lot of heat in here. If you do want a lighter color, a white would be good. Uh, some light color to reflect light. But uh, this probably be the worst case. We're going to see how it goes. Well, guys, we're here. We're getting the uh, pole ready. I went ahead and I used a 5 16th inch drill bit to drill a hole through the top of the pole. Uh, this will be to mount the bat house that we'll show you in a moment. And uh, that'll let a quarter inch bolt slip right through. We went ahead and sanded the outside of this pipe. And you notice we did cut the bell off of this piece of pipe, the second piece that's going to feed inside here. We cut that bell off because we don't need it and we've sanded it to get it ready to glue up to the bell on the other pipe. So we're gonna do that here in just a second. And we'll show you that as we get going. Okay, we're getting plenty of glue in this joint. And we're gonna brace it against the truck to make sure we get this bell fully engaged on the pipe. And then just push it hard. Okay, now all we do is we let that set for a few minutes 
and we'll be ready to start touching up the paint, put the bat house on, and bound it in the hole. You want to make sure after you glue this that you take something and clean this glue bead that's formed here, and that will allow it to slide inside the three inch pipe. What we're going to end up with is it'll look like just kind of a smooth expansion right onto the three inch pipe. If we leave that bead there and let it harden, then it's going to leave a gap here. Okay, we're going to attach the bat house to the pole. We pre-drilled the top hole here, and we're just going to use the longer, the four and a half inch carriage bolt to feed all the way through, let it stick out on the back. We'll use a washer, and we'll just put the nylon lock nut on here. And that nut, we're using the nylon lock nut just to tighten it up. We're not trying to put any squeeze pressure on it. And the pliers here just give us enough leverage. And what we can do is just tighten it down until it pulls into the bat house a little bit. That won't be going anywhere. Now, for the bottom bolt, we are going to put a bolt in the bottom too. We'll drill it at one time. This lets us get the bat house centered up and level on the pole. There's a little pre drill mark there that marks the center of the house. These are actually the 16 on center, but that marks the center of the house. We can center that up in the pole. And this, by waiting to drill it now, we can line the whole thing up to the pole. And again, this is a 5 16 inch bit. Extend it out so we've got enough reach. Now here, we'll keep it level and perpendicular to the pole. And then the four inch bolt should fit for these. Let it pull it right into the bat house. There we go. We'll dust that off. It's now ready to go set in the ground. Okay, we got the hole dug, we got the pole laid out. You can see it here. We've got the three inch pipe, We've got the two and a half inch slides into it. The bell flares out right at the top of the three. Bat house is secured. Now one of the things about this when we're setting it, we'll set it, we'll level it, uh, we'll use some concrete around it and some water, pack it in, make sure it's good. And then we don't have to worry about setting the bat house direction just yet because it's still going to spin in that pole. So we'll be able to get up there and turn it to face the way that we want to do it before we finish securing it. So we're going to do that and then uh, get back to you on the video so you can see what happens next. Well, we finished up here. It uh, worked about like I expected it to. A uh, little bit not as sturdy as I had hoped for, but we're going to see over time how it goes. Again, this is an experimental uh, idea here to see how well it works. We can adjust it and go from there, improve it, uh, change the design a little bit. If you've got any ideas on how to improve it, leave some comments uh, about it. The uh, Bowing that you see in the pole is just this is the hot side with the sun on it, so this side expands, will cause it to bow, and actually wooden, po wooden posts have the exact same problem. When you get them down into the 4x6 or 6x6 six six size, you'll see that same bowing problem with them. 
uh, but it's fairly harmless. I'm really more concerned about the sturdiness of it over time with it swaying. And we'll just have to wait and see, and hopefully this will work out, and if it does, you'll see more of them in the future. If you got any questions, just let us know.